guys, and welcome back. This is Shaft of the Clinic Casting Crew. Welcome to part number three of episode five. We are exploring the forest trying to catch Team Plasma, who just stole a dragon skull. It looked like a dragon... A, a dra dragonite, I believe is what they were. I've been having the hardest time remembering, but it's okay. Do a little work up here with Hand Sage. Pig Knight, we're going to let him... Uh, do as much damage as possible before he dies. These are bug types, so I should do pretty well. Yeah, as I said. Level up for Pan Sage. Level 17. Level 19 for Pig Knight. Yeah! Sage used to work up. Bug bites. Bugs are pretty good against plants. Stole and ate my chesto berry? You butthole. What a butt muncher. At least he's gonna die on this round. Butt muncher. You ate my berry, dude. When your ally is floating. Interesting. Alright, I think I got it now. Yeah! So I can come to stuff quickly. Cool. Go through the hollows of fallen trees. That's pretty cool. And your team plasma. I won't be able to chase you anymore. Let's see about that. Cause I'm a bad mother- SHUT YOUR MOUTH! Come on, grunt! Sand dial? Really? A sand crocodile? That's what you're gonna send against me, a sand crocodile. Intimidate, huh? A sand crocodile. And of course you avoided the attack. Assurance. It's time to switch out to Sock. Sock is a beast. Sand attack again? Really? Oh well, at least Sock will get some life back. Another sand attack? You're really doing this to me right now. Boom. That's all she wrote. I'm just a kid on an ego trip. Thank you. 
My, my, could you be looking for something? <laughs> yes, of course I am, you butt muncher. actually dark type, so it's time to switch out. Timber to the rescue. I believe fighting does pretty well against dark. We'll focus my energy on the first attack. Rock smash. It's all she wrote. I'm jealous of your cool outfits. Okay, Knights Templar. The kind of girl to carry a heavy load. I'm sorry, but that's some funny stuff. Big root. Okay. A sea waddle. Apparently, I should watch out for bug bite. Oh, wow, string shot. good is lowering my speed when I'm already slower than you? Level 18! Special attack is insane. Ooh, Venipede. The fence harshly fell. Seems like a pretty good attack. We'll try a Pokeball. If that doesn't work, we'll go with a Nutball. Okay, that didn't work. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Cottony. Mega Drain. And there's the confusion. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all.
Booyah! One attack escapes by shooting cotton from its body. The cotton serves as a decoy to distract the attack. Well, that's not very powerful. Tiny mushroom. Yeah, baby. Another venipede. I patrol Pinwheel Forest every day. A battle here is a piece of cake. Mmm, chocolate or red velvet? Ranger Forest. Take down. Does a lot of damage. Not even gonna play around with this thing. Boom. Dead. Six, six, six experience points. Give me that money. Ranger always has one of these. Chesto berry. Forest is alive. Something changes every day, so it's fun to patrol. That's a weird statement to make. I want to see what that moss infested rock is all about. And we'll see if we can catch a sea waddle. Pink flame charge might kill it. Some string shot. I'm still faster than you. Alright, I should be able to get away with one more shockwave. No! All that hard work for nothing. Touching it feels good somehow. Well, it didn't heal my Pokemon. Sea Waddle. Yay! Let's see what a flame charge will do. Get it low, hopefully. Oh, that's perfect. We'll just go right with that. This should just be a easy cleanup now. Oh yeah. Leave any dress it enclosed they made for it when it hatched. It hides its head and its hood while it's sleeping.
Pokemon strong points. You'll see them if you fight. Go Blitzel. We're just gonna flame charge through the opponents. It protected itself against flame charge as well. There we go. That's what I needed. Sending in Timber. In that case, I'll send in my Sock. energy and then focus mm, no we don't need to focus energy twice actually we might as well youngster Nicholas an antidote. It's actually exactly what I needed. Who are you? The strength of rangers, huh? Ranger Audra. Hand sage, really? I have one of those. Flame charge! Fury swipes will probably finish me off. 
Yeah, yeah. there it is. Getting down pretty low on Pokemon now. Vine whipping me, really? Well, show us that nice day to female Pokemon. Especially one as pretty as my timber. Chesto Berry is a power you got from nature. Okay. It appears there's a lot more left to this forest. I think it's time to go heal. Actually, hold on. There was an item over there, wasn't there? Yeah, right here. Revive, cool. Sometimes it takes me a moment to register things. Now I got my fresh crew. <coughs> Venipede. Go Muna. Pretty sure Psychic does really well against uh, insects, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it does okay. A tiny mushroom. Found a lot of those lately. Hello, buddy. You must have the Dragon Skull. Hold you here so my friends can get away. Mm -hmm. You have one Pokemon, Grot. This is not going to be a hard fight. Yawn. To hell with glitches! Storing your power right before you fall asleep, huh? That's one way to break by. Yeah. 
And bye bye, Pat Rat. Our rules and your rules are different. Wow. I just got called a scrub. Okay, well, I really thought you had it. Apparently, there's more force to be seen. Heal. Oh, hi, another ranger. Ranger Miguel. I have a friend named Miguel. Hands here, eh? Beam. Incinerate sounded strong, but it didn't actually do that much. Oh, you actually have Yawn. That's kind of cool. should get one more attack. Alright, now your yawn matters not. Hypnosis. I see the difference in this and yawn. Accuracy 60. Hypnosis seem, seems better. A Pecha Berry. Okay, here's another grunt. Pursuer. I've been called worse. And you have three Pokemon. Let's see if hypnosis is any better. Oh wow, instant. That's awesome. Screw bide. That's an instant break. Hey Ashes. No, I wanna keep Actually we'll send an uh Timber. Another pat rat, a sand dive. We'll keep battling. I actually don't know what type it is, but I'm expecting normal. Intimidate, lowering my attack. Tell me how much it matters. You avoided my attack due to your sand attack. Sand tomb. Okay, maybe your ground type. Critical hit. 
trapped by sand team? What? Really? This is just so not fair. And you continue to avoid my attacks. Finally! Okay, so he is normal. How does stealing a dragon's skull have anything to do with saving Pokemon, you fool? The dream your king had, the dream you had, won't come true. That's right, buddy. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages, I'm mortified that the skull, which we went so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important we can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated, but we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh sweet, the bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? Shaft, Berg, the others didn't have anything, and who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, another of the seven sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. That's Sun Tzu, folks. This time we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that a time as much as I. Creepy. They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? Hmm, we got back the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well now, well, I'll be waiting for your challenge at Castalia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed, I'm certainly looking forward to it. He's probably up next. You're holding the Dragon Skull you worked so hard to get back, right? Shaft, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. Moonstone! This is a moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. Now I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. Well, let's try the moonstone real quick, guys. Oh, I didn't want to give that to hold. My bad. Try that again. Use. I thought Muna would evolve with that. Alright, time to do it. Muna is evolving. Muna, Moonstone. It made sense. Yeah, buddy. Mushara. Musharna. Looks like a drowsy, like a fetus drowsy. Let's check out our Musharna. Naughty by nature. Alright guys, this will end episode 5. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, if you did, please subscribe to our channel because on the next exciting episode, we will be finishing up this forest because there was a southern part we did not explore. And we'll be uh, continuing on to the next city following the route. Should be at the city by the end of the next episode. Can't wait to see you guys there. Bye-bye. I'm actually going to go make some veal parmigiana. It's going to be delicious.